Welcome back, nail crew. Welcome back. So here are my nails. They look a hot, horrible mess. I know that. I know that. So today we are going to fix them. If you guys remember, I told you I was doing my hair and I had to do Muff's hair as well. So having long stiletto nails is not conducive with doing hair. <laughs> so I just cut them off. And today, finally, I am going to fill them. So I filed them off camera and I kind of even them up because like I told you guys in my previous video, when I cut my nails so that I could do our hair, when I cut my nails, I cut them with rage. So I didn't do them even. I didn't do anything. I just like chip, 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 chip. <laughs> so they weren't even, but I did my best to make them even today so that I could do my fill. So I removed all the old product off my nails. I filed them. I did a little quick shape and now I am adding my primer. The primer that I'm using is the same one that I sell on my website. So check it out if you're looking for a primer. Now I'm going in with the gel bottle ink base coat. I love this base coat. It is so thick and creamy. I really, really love it. I told you guys I was trying to get a coupon code and I'm trying, but no one's answering me at the gel bottle ink. <laughs> they don't want me to give you guys a code but I will say this they are having a sale right now so if you guys are interested I would check out their website while they're having the sale because their products are very expensive and in fact I only shop on their website if they're having a sale if it's regular price I am not paying for it at all so I went ahead and I put the base coat I let that cure in the lamp for a full 60 seconds and now I'm applying the clear acrylic the clear acrylic is also from my website check out my website if you are looking for a clear acrylic and yes you can use this acrylic for dip nails as well because I do that all the time and it works just fine so I'm adding the clear acrylic just as a base because when I add the colored acrylic I need something to file back to when I do a fill and that way I'm not filing all the way down to my nail plate so basically a protective measure for my nail plate I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this clip because you guys have seen me do this a thousand times. You guys know how to add a little bit of acrylic and fill in that little gap, right? We know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how to do that. So I'm just going to speed this up. Boop, 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 bop, bop, bop. Okay. All right. So it's time for our member spotlight. Member spot. I need a jingle. I need a jingle. Help me think of a jingle so when I do the member spotlight, I can have a little song, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Member spotlight. Member. No. Member spotlight. Member spotlight. Members. Man. I don't know. All right, y'all. Help me. Think of a jingle and let me know. So when I do the member spotlight, I could drop the beat. I could drop the beat. And we could sing it together. Just like when I sing Put It In The Oven, you guys be rocking with me. I want to sing like a member spotlight song so you guys could rock with me too. Yeah, help me y'all, help me think of a, a member spotlight song. Wait, before we do that, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you are subscribed and make sure you hit the bell so you know when I upload next. Okay, so now without any further ado, cause you know I could drag things on. Our first member spotlight goes to Shantae Nails. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey, I hope you see this video and I am using blue. I know this might not be your favorite shade of blue, but it is blue nonetheless. So I hope that you love this set. Also, I am using acrylic today by, um, I almost forgot the name of <laughs> I'm not even cutting that out. <laughs> I totally drew a blank. Okay, so one of her favorite acrylic companies is iGel Beauty. And it just so happens that one of the acrylics that I'll be using today is also from iGel Beauty. So Shantae, I hope you love this set even more. My next member spotlight goes to Nail Designs by Denise. Nail Designs. I gotta laugh at myself when I sing, y'all. But Nail Designs by Denise. Hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, how are you guys? Make sure you drop a hey girl, hey in the comment, both of you guys. And I will be leaving their channels in my description box. As you can tell by their subscriber count, they are smaller channels. Show some support. It is so hard. It is so hard 
on YouTube to grow, especially trying to get your first 500 subscribers. Like getting the first 500 seems so hard when you're new and you don't know anybody and no one's giving you a push. It feels like almost impossible. So I know that having a small channel or just starting out on YouTube can be very, very frustrating. So show these ladies some support. Go over to their channel. Hit that subscribe button and tell them hey girl hey Nikki sent me hey girl hey <laughs> all right oh speaking of small channels oh my gosh okay speaking of small I'm so excited y'all oh my gosh okay speaking of small channels um I, I you know I have my new fitness channel body loading you guys know that oh my gosh so I just hit 500 subscribers the other day y'all Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so excited. So I went back on my last video and I'm going to give another shout out. I'm giving another shout out. So my last video, the first comment on my last video was left by Shiny Situations. I kind of like that. Shiny Situation. That could be a whole blingy ring or that could be some bling nails. Shiny Situation could really just be anything. Glitzy and glammy i kind of like that shiny situation that's an interesting name i like it i like it anyway she was the first one to leave a comment on the video that i posted on my body loading page so thank you so much because that must have meant that you had your post notification bell on so thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that so anyway guys i know this is my nail channel but listen i'm so excited about the other channel growing as well so i hit my first milestone i'm very very stoked about it so anthony and i are planning a giveaway help us please tell me what would be a good giveaway for my fitness channel i don't know i don't know what to do maybe like a 20 dollar gift certificate to amazon and then you guys can buy something fitness related I don't know. Help me. Help me out. I think that would be like the easiest thing because money could be used if you're a guy or a woman. You know, it doesn't have to be specific to one gender. So I feel like that would be cool. But if you guys have better ideas, let me know. If not, I think I'm going to go with a PayPal or a cash app giveaway of like 20 bucks. If you win, I just cash app it to you. Boom, bam, boom. We are done. Okay. So that's that for my shout outs. Wow, y'all. Wow, that was a lot of shout outs today. Cool. I kind of like that though. I kind of like that because I know when you guys watch the video and you see your name or face pop up, I know you get excited because <laughs> I would definitely get excited if I was watching. If I was watching like Femi Beauty or Long Hair Pretty Nails or like Natalie Carmenoma, I hope that's how you say her name, or even like Young Nails or Not Polish or any of those people, if I was watching them and my face had the nerve to like pop up on the screen, I would freaking take a screenshot and I will save it for the rest of my life. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that's kind of like, <laughs> that's what I would do. Because <laughs> I'm a dork like that. I'm definitely, I'm a sentimental person. That's what it is. I'm a very sentimental person. So that's where, that's where it comes from. But I would definitely take a screenshot and I will save it. As a matter of fact, speaking of screenshots and saving, a lot of the comments that you guys leave me, because I really do try my best to read them all sometimes I can't get to them right away but I do eventually get to them some of them are so heartfelt and some of them are so like endearing and like motivating like yo like sometimes I know you guys say you watch my video you're in a bad mood or whatever the case is and then I get you like feeling pumped and like ready for the day or I, I lift your mood or whatever yo y'all do that to me too like I read these comments I'm not playing like all jokes aside I'm dead ass right now like I read the comments sometimes they're so heartfelt like motivating you guys will tell me Nikki I see you getting big I see you like you're gonna be huge one day yo I I take that to heart and I'm like hell yeah I claim that I take a screenshot of it yo I feel like I'm gonna have to print those out yo I just thought about this just now right I'm gonna have to print them out and put them in a frame yo imagine okay 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 guys okay I'm not even talking about nothing I'm doing on the screen that's okay we y'all seen me do nails a million times we're just gonna talk about other things today y'all 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 got it y'all know what I'm doing I'm laying acrylic boom okay so what I'm gonna do with the comments that I really really love 
Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God, like this is brilliant. So I'm going to print them. I'm going to put them in a frame and I'm going to plaster my nail room wall with them. What? Oh my God. Like, I feel like that's the greatest idea of life. Now watch, someone is going to tell me in the comments because I feel like I made that up. I haven't heard or seen anybody else do that. But watch, someone's going to burst my bubble because that this always happens. I get excited and somebody's like, oh no, Nikki, no. <laughs> People were doing that since like 12 years ago. <laughs> You're late. But I know someone's going to get in the comments and be like, no, Jack and Jill did that last week. But I don't know about Jack and Jill. I know about me and the nail crew. And I think that would be so beautiful. Oh my gosh. That would be like my vision board to look at the visions that you guys have for me and just help myself manifest them. Yo, that's it. I'm doing that because right now, I know most people have a vision board. Like that's kind of like, you know, everybody just has a vision board. Like that's just a normal thing. I don't have a vision board, y'all. I have a vision book. Do you hear what I say? Do you hear what I say? I have a vision book. And if you guys want me to show it to you, hmm, I'll think about it. Because you know, sometimes you got to keep things under wrapped. I'll think about it if, you, if I want to do a video on it. But basically, it's a book. And instead of having a vision board, like, you know, because a vision board is kind of limited, but a vision book where you got 500 pages, hello, 500 visions, what? Oh, okay. Cut pictures out, glue them in, in the pages in the book, tape it in the pages. If you don't got a printer, you, you can't do all of that, draw it, honey, write it down, visualize it, manifest it, make it come to life. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Yo, when I start talking about manifestation and when I start talking about stuff like that, I just get so lit and so hyped. So just me thinking about the positive vibes that you guys send me through my comment section and printing them out and putting them in a frame and putting them in my nail room so that whenever I feel down, I go in there and read them things and bring my spirits back up. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. That's going to take a long time. I feel like that's going to be a dope project, but it's going to take a lot of time because now I have to go back to all my messages and screenshot them and, and, you know, print them and crop them out. And oh my God, like this is going to be like, it's going to be a while <laughs> before my wall is completely done. But at least I have an idea of the direction that I want it to go in. So I, you know what? Okay, so now I have another idea. Y'all, this is just literally how my mind works. And this is why I have insomnia. And this is why I cannot sleep. Okay, so now I have another idea. What about instead? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Should I go with option A? Option A is printing all the comments that I like that resonate with me, put them in a frame and put them on my wall, right? That's option one. Option two is to print the comments, but instead of putting them in individual frames, make a collage and just get one large frame and put all the comments that I like in that one large frame and hang that up. I think that's also a good idea. But let me know what you guys would do. Would you do individual frames like, let's say like a four by six size, something like that, I think is pretty cool. Would you guys do that? Would that look cooler? Or would it look better if I had one large frame and made a collage? I'm kind of confused because I like both of those ideas equally. Like both of those seem pretty damn dope. And then, ooh, and then whenever I update my intro video, whenever I update my video, I could include that photograph or that wall with all the comments. <laughs> I'm really, really getting excited here, y'all. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. So moving on. Let me show you guys the acrylic that I used in this set. Let me show you guys the acrylic that I used. So this lighter color is Princess Jasmine. It's beautiful, y'all. And it works so nicely. Uh, that that's a very nice color. I really like the color. I really like the consistency when I was using it with monomer on my nail. This blue here, it doesn't even look like the blue that's in the bottle. Like 
showing you guys what it looks like in the container. It's color number 27 by Model Ones, by the way. But showing you in the container, it doesn't look the same when you put it on your nails, which is weird. Um, but this one here, Let's Take a Dip by Sparkle & Co. It does look like what it looks like in the bottle and when you put it on your nails. So I don't know. The one by Model Ones was kind of weird because it, it just looks way bluer. When you put it on your nails, it's more aqua. Nonetheless, the color is gorgeous. I recommend it. It works flawless and I love it. The clear acrylic, like I told you guys, is from my website and I'm going to use a clear acrylic to encapsulate right now. So I'll speed this clip up because we all know how to encapsulate. I don't want to waste any time. And then also, if you guys notice, I switched my brush. So when I was laying the acrylic, I used my standard size 12 brush because I love laying acrylic with size 12. It just goes on very nicely for me. But encapsulating, y'all, I kind of want one big wet bead to encapsulate. So I'm trying to use this size 14, which is working great. But the reason why I don't use larger brushes when I'm doing the whole set is because it soaks up a lot of monomer and then I hate having to fill my dappin' dish several times throughout the set. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't use a large brush. It just wastes too much monomer for me. Other than that though, I know a lot of people use larger brushes because you're ending the set a lot sooner. Like you're picking up larger beads so you're working faster and you know some people like that and I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, but just for me, I just have to figure out how to not use so much monomer when I'm using such a large brush. You know what I'm saying? Like, hello. You guys know I'm kind of frugal. I'm not trying to waste no money. I'm not trying to waste no monomer. Wasting monomer means you waste the money. And I, mm -mm, no. <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The other blue that I use, so that darker blue is from Not Polish. And you guys know I have a coupon code for Not Polish. So all my coupon codes will be in the description box. And the name of the color is Ocean Days. And it's a gorgeous color. And the consistency is super creamy. And I really, really like that color. I really do. So I, overall, right now I'm very very happy with my nails I'm very very happy with my set actually anything looks better than what I just had okay <laughs> anything at this point looks better than that <laughs> so I'm extremely happy right now with how the nails turned out I really really like them especially whenever I'm working with my non-dominant hand like I'm doing today I'm not left-handed people okay I'm not left-handed so whenever I'm working with my non-dominant hand you know I'm always kind of iffy on if it's going to be a good enough video for me to post, you know, like sometimes the nails come out looking weird, like lumpy, and then I have to do a lot of filing. And then in the end, after I file it, it looks good. But sometimes you don't want to show that in a video because it's like, girl, you got acrylic all on your knuckles. What were you doing? And they're gonna clown you so you know stuff like that happened <laughs> and then you just scrap the whole video <laughs> can we be honest okay so that didn't happen today but I'm always like leery of posting my non-dominant hand but lately I've been doing really good posting videos using my non-dominant hand like I've been really good about that lately and I'm just proud of myself that means progress you know that means progress is happening I'm practicing as much as I can but I don't practice with my left hand that's the thing I practice all the time but I practice with my right hand nobody just says hello today I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna practice doing nails with my non-dominant like no 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 you don't do that you get up and you practice with your little practice hand but you use your dominant hand you know what I'm saying so with that being said my left hand doesn't get the workout that the right hand gets so whenever I do my nails and I'm using my left hand I just kind of hold my breath and Say a little wish and a prayer and and sometimes it just works out great and I think today was one of those times so I'm super excited it looks amazing I'm going to just finish it up with some bling because bling always brings everything just 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 makes everything just look so much better matter of fact let me give you guys a little closer a little closer oh look at that bling look at that bling look at that bling 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 bling, bling, bling. I'm so <laughs> such a dork <laughs> sorry for that that was a weird song y'all okay so the top coat that i'm using today is by the one and only princess nails by diana i have a ton 
of top coats and I have a lot of really good top coats but yo I really like her top coat I'm not even like just gassing you guys up because she's my friend. Like, I like her top coat. While she's at my house, she even talked about, um, like, getting a new formula, maybe, for her top coat and base coat, or, like, switching vendors. And I was like, hell no. <laughs> no, ma'am. Don't do it to me, girl. Don't do it to me. I love the formula. So, please, for my sake, don't change nothing. Do it for me. Don't change nothing. <laughs> Look how beautiful. So, let me go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. And then I'll show you guys what they look like in the end. I'm so happy. I love them. This shit is so crazy. Yo. Oh. Bitch, what is that? What is this? Glitter. No, I know, but who? Is that I'll show you. I'll show you. Beach is my, it's model one. Oh, really? So it's the ones that I be talking shit about. Yeah. And then who is that? Sparkle and what? Sparkle and Co. Sparkle and Co. for the glitter? Yeah. Both of them for the glitter. Oh, they both, both of got them. glitter. They're the same. I mixed them. Bitch, you slayed this shit. Let me see. <laughs> Bitch, you... Did... You better do your other hand coral. Because that's mermaid, bitch. Right. You see how that top coat got it looking like it's you... under the sea. But, under the sea. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Remember when I told you to put that coral with that? You was like, oh my God, it looks so amazing. Bitch. Yeah. I love this. I love this. Let me get my little posing thing. This is adorable. This is adorable. Where's my little thing? All right, y'all, y'all heard that. Beauty with an E gave her stamp of approval on these nails. So I hope the entire nail crew feels the way we feel because I really do feel like this is beautiful. The color fits my skin tone and I love the glitter and I love the bling and I love, let me show you guys. Let me just show you. Look at that top coat. Look at that top coat shining and gleaming. Look at that top coat shining and gleaming. Hello. And let's not forget the cuticle oil. Hello from my website. Let's not forget the cuticle oil. Look at my cuticles. Don't they look supple and moist and beautiful? Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching, Nail Crew. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share with the world. Share my video with the world so that I can quickly get 50K because I really want a play button. Like, I just want a play button so bad. I'm gonna like probably just scream and cry, but I want it anyway. All right, y'all, until tomorrow, bye.